Hi, it's Debbie Williams here. I'm an NLP trainer and hypnotherapist. And today I want to talk about how you can stop sabotaging any success. Now, the reason that you sabotage success is because on some reason you believe that you don't deserve to have success. Now, we could spend years and years and years in therapy looking for the reasons of why that is. And at the end of the day, you still got to make a decision that actually I'm going to let that go and make a decision I do deserve to have success. See, if we look at, say, the female segment of society, there's double standards there of, you know, a man can sleep around, oh, what a stud, a woman, what a slut. And we've got all these undermining messages that, you know, perhaps we're not good enough. Again, if you're a male, if you compare yourself to your friend, we society sets us up to be dissatisfied. This is how advertisers get us to buy products. You know, if you buy the latest designer thing, then you can feel cool because you've got that. So you're one of the in crowd. So they use all the best hypnosis techniques to undermine how you feel, to get you to take action through your pain to buy their product. And so underlying all of this, we have these insecurities that we're not good enough or that we don't deserve to have success. Now, this is absolute crap, and I believe it would be absolutely wonderful if the work that I do and many other good people out there could be taught to our school kids to empower children to feel at peace in themselves and believe in themselves and not compare themselves unfairly to others. And one of the ways that you can start to feel good about yourself is to look for the qualities that you have got. Look for things that you've done in your life that you're proud of, things that you've done that you are competent in, even if it's just tying your shoelace. There was at one point you couldn't actually do that. And times when you've been with friends, when you've been connected and that you know that you are accepted for who you are. And another thing that you can do is to feed this back into yourself. And just imagine if you held in your hands all of the qualities that you had, and you may need to come back to this to do this and you put the time in there when you helped that person to do such and such, the time in there when you helped a dear friend, the time when you won that award, the time when you did X, Y and Z and then just bring it back into your heart and any compliment that anybody's ever given you, that you're a nice person, that you're a kind soul or any of that take this with you and stand in front of a mirror and look into your eyes and say I have a wonderful heart. I have a wonderful heart. I deserve goodness. I deserve good things because you do. See I believe that some of the sensitive souls out there are so close to finding peace because you're aware of your pain, you don't stamp on others to make yourself feel better, you're probably the one who's been stamped on. And so you have the qualities of kindness, caring, compassion, loyalty, truthfulness, all of those. And those are qualities that really have high value, but you may not have appreciated that in yourself yet. And so I want to give you permission to really look in your eyes and see the spirit of who you are and to start accepting yourself and to open your mind to receive good things. See, when you were born, God didn't go along and with a stamp going, worthy, 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 stopped at you and go, hmm, unworthy. You know, whether we believe in God, our creator, I feel more comfortable with that, a higher intelligence, there's something more than us looking out for us. And open your heart now to being guided to find the right people, the right places, the right times to accept yourself and allow yourself to achieve good things. Great talking to you today. Bye now.